Are you unsure of which British army group to join or just want to find out which one is better? Don't worry, I got you covered on this controversy. So guys, in today's video, we'll be comparing two of the largest British army groups on Roblox right now. Reaper Iron's British army and Sharkus's British army. Both have their own pros and cons which I'll go through. You can make your own judgement as well after this. The YouTuber Ponsiski also made a video on this over a year ago. So this is just an updated version that has way more extensive details. Alrighty, let's just first start with... Reaper Aaron's group. It's a smaller one of the two and currently has just under 600,000 members. In my opinion, this group has a very, very tiny lit and active community. Reaper Aaron himself is constantly talking with his community, as well as the developers, headquarters, and high-ranking staff is chatting with you in the general chats and development channels. So it makes it a very welcoming and warm place when you first join. Adding on, this game is very beginner friendly. They have titles above all of the buildings around the map to guide new people, such as the RM, uh, the RMP headquarters, the RMC hospital, the parade ground, the uniform room. Reaper Aaron's game also constantly has development updates. As a team of very active developers who give members of the community daily updates on upcoming tools, features, and maps. And speaking of which, they released a massive brand new map just a couple weeks ago with tons of new features such as a hospital, a parade ground, a new terrain, and a sick looking golf cart. Bye. Guess what? They are selling these golf carts for a goddamn good reason. They're gonna make you want to buy it. And I swear to god, they slowed down the walking speed just so it takes longer to walk to the parade ground from the uniform room. And like hear me out, look how expensive it is and how much robux I have. It's just I cannot afford it. They also have advertisements literally lying everywhere around the map. It's almost like a simulator. It's, it's crazy. On the ground, in front of you, behind you, it's just way too much. And on a side note, they also have fun events hosted throughout the week such as Brio's Got Talent and Nations Game Night Activities, which is a cool addition and you know brings the community together. Before I continue, I just want to say I appreciate all the 2000 subscribers that have supported me so far in my journey. And if you're finding this video helpful, I'll give you some time right now just to consider subscribing to me and liking this video while you're at it. Also, you can be even a cooler kid if you want to buy my merch, you know. I'll be walking around the, uh, both games for the next two days after uploading this video and giving people some robux if I see you in my merch. Alright, let's get on with the next part of the video. Now, my opinion on Sharkus's group. He has over 1 million members and is still growing, which is practically crazy. Now, I'm actually very surprised at how they constantly host trials every 2-3 to three minutes. They're just pumping them out like a pump your mom. Mom, well, I'm, I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, it is truly a work of art by the high ranking staff to get these trials always hosted, without you having to wait at all. And I actually used some of Isaac Newton's second law of motion, and I checked that 3 plus 6 meters per second squared over the amount of time RGG kills you is around 8 minutes. And that's how often RGG trials happen. And that's just incredible. I also like how close everything together is on the map. When you spawn, the uniform room is right next to you and the parade ground is only a step and a half away. It also has really really nice terrain, such as hills from the parade ground to the HQ building, as well as a gate. It also just adds an extra layer of realism that the hardworking developers put into the game. However, ranking up is just so much more confusing in Shark's group compared to Aaron's. Unlike Aaron's XP system which is set out and very clear, Shark has a vague way for low ranks to rank up and without a proper guide, no one knows how to unless you ask a moderator. And in my opinion, the XP system is just nicer and gives you a set of goals if you want to rank up. Now that we have talked a little bit about the pros and cons of both groups, Let's talk about the overall opportunities and entertainment factor. Reaper Aaron's group has a large variety of roles such as being a judge, patrol moderator and British Army news broadcaster, which Sharkus's group just simply does not have. This just makes it way more fun and enjoyable and it's also a change from just being a plain old soldier. Now guessing you want to rank up to chief rank of some sort, you'd have a better chance of ranking up faster in Reaper Aaron's group compared to Sharkus's as the staff just stay for longer in their group. However, in Shark's group, you can join any regiment at the rank of private. Whilst Reaper Aaron's group, you need to be Lance Corporal, Corporal or even Sergeant. Also, they have a lot more positions over at Sharks that need to be filled out as there are so many people in the game. 
So if you want to get something low, like recruiting stuff or officer, you'd probably find it easier to get. In terms of maps, Shark definitely tops off Aaron and it just isn't loaded with any ads. And everything from the building to the terrain just seems way more realistic. So in the end, which group is better? What is more fun? What is more rewarding? And what is just better? Well, I think the better group is... Actually, both groups in my opinion are very nice. If you want a more realistic and serious group, I'd say go for Sharks. If you want a more enjoyable and open-minded group, I say go for Aaron's. So they have their own pros and cons, and Sharks is just more realistic and Aaron's is more enjoyable. I hope you guys found this view uh I hope you guys found this video helpful. At the date of recording this, it is the 26th of December. So I hope you all had a great Christmas and a happy new year. Peace.